The word polyp comes from the Greek language where it means a little foot. But when you apply that to the colon or rectum, it just means a bump on the internal lining of the bowel. So there are lots of different types of polyps. Uh, but the polyps that we're most concerned with are the ones that can turn into cancer. And there are two types of polyps that can turn into cancer. One is the adenoma, which means a polyp formed from glandular tissue, which is the normal tissue that lines the colon and rectum. And the hyperplastic or serrated polyp, which is another variety of polyp that is pre-malignant. Now polyps arise because of the genetic changes that happen in the cells lining the colon that make them grow faster than they should and not die when they should. We're not aware of this usually, but the cells that lining the colon only live for about a week and then they die and shed are replaced by new cells. Now sometimes those cells don't die because of genetic changes and they build up and they form these polyps. All colon and rectal cancer arises from a polyp. Sometimes we don't see the polyp that caused the cancer, but it was always there. And therefore, by removing polyps as they are found and as they grow, we can prevent colon and rectal cancer. We think that it takes about 10 years on the average for a polyp to grow big enough to turn into a cancer. And what that means is that these genetic changes are continue to accumulate in the cells and when we get enough of them the polyp will turn into a cancer. Sometimes patients uh, with a family history uh, will, it won't take 10 years, it'll be quicker. And so that's why patients with a family history of colorectal cancer, we advise colonoscopies more frequently than the 8 to 10 years that the average population patient will uh, be advised.